Hey, it's Tim. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little mini haul video of some of the gifts that I got yesterday. We had our big family Christmas party for aunts, uncles, and cousins. We did Secret Santa. Um, actually, we did a white elephant gift exchange, and then we also did Secret Santa with my siblings. So, I will just share with you really quickly what I brought home. For starters, my 94-year-old aunt wasn't able to make it. Uh, she lives in Portland as well, so I offered to drive her up. It's a couple hours north where we were having the party, and it was just going to be a long day for her. So, she ended up passing, but she did make jam for me to take to my dad and his brothers and sisters, which are her nieces and nephews. She's my great aunt. And she gave me one too. It says, to the delivery guy with thanks. So I have a jar of homemade jam. I'm really excited to take that to work and to use it for my breakfast. For the white elephant, I brought a, what did I take? Oh, I bought a Snuggie. <laughs> um, my sister ended up getting it and then her boyfriend ended up trading her and he got it. Uh, but I came home with two packages of pool table plates. So they're plates that are shaped like uh, pool balls, and I have uh, four of them in this, and then my phone is stacked on the other box, but I've got these. So this will be kind of fun for parties. Um, yeah. My parents gave me a Christmas gift, and I'm not sure if this counts as my Christmas and birthday gift, because my birthday is also on Christmas. Um, my, my immediate family exchanged our gifts early because my sister will be in Disneyland for Christmas. So I don't know if we're all going to get together for the actual holiday. We just figured it would be safe to give out our gifts now. So my parents gave me a gift too. And I got The Sims 4 um, bundle. It's an expansion game pack of Spa Day and Perfect Patio stuff. So I just started playing The Sims 4, and I don't have either of these yet, so that's great. They also gave me a card with some cash. And so I have $200, which says, to go with your Sims 4 expansions. Love you, Mom and Dad. I imagine, though, that I will probably put this towards debt and or saving um, instead. Uh, I'm pretty set on The Sims now, but um, it's just great to have a few extra dollars. I um, really appreciate that. My cousin gave me a holiday card, which included school pictures of a couple of her kids. So, um, my second cousins, is that what that is? I think so. My cousin's kids, is that my second cousin? My sister had me for the Secret Santa for our siblings, and I um, bought my brother the sixth season of Game of Thrones, so he got that for me. My sister gave me a little gift bag, which just had a variety of things that I'll share with you. Um, I love this. It's probably my favorite. It's an elephant uh, from Marshalls. It's just a really cute silver statue. Elephants are my favorite, so I'm going to put this out. I might end up adding it to my Christmas decor and just using it seasonally, but it's, you know, versatile enough to use all year round. So I'll just put this right here on my throwback shelf. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. I got Horrible Bosses 2. Um, I don't really remember the first movie. I think it's just one of those stupid comedies, but I haven't seen the second one yet. And I like a lot of these actors, so, you know, not too bad. I appreciate that. She gave me a, uh, a little towel with a wooden spoon bundled together. There's a saying in here. Let me read it for you. Okay, it says, A kitchen towel may be a welcomed gift if your old ones are stained or worn out. But have you ever stopped to consider that throughout history it has had many significant uses? From the elegance of a proper tea to the shenanigans of towel snapping, many fond memories have been built around this most simple of woven cloths. A mother tenderly wipes the tears of a small child. Loved ones are comforted with a cool, wet towel on a fevered forehead. The physician binds the wounds to stop bleeding that healing might begin. Homemakers wipe their hands as they move about from task to task. Laborers wipe the sweat from their brow. Adventurous pioneers wrapped what precious few items they had in towels with hopes of bringing them to a brighter future. Almost 2,000 years ago, in a single, selfless act, Jesus took an ordinary towel and dried the feet of his disciples just hours before his crucifixion. Cru crucifixion. I can read. Just a carpenter, just a supper, just a towel. 
Many of life's most powerful lessons come through such simplicity. This towel is given to you with love. May you use it for acts of kindness, giving from your heart, your talents, and passions. The difference between a common towel and a loving tool lies in the heart of the one who possesses it. So I thought that was really sweet. I just literally read that live. I had not read that until just now. Um, so let's pull it out. We've got a wooden, a little wooden spoon. And then the towel itself is beautiful Christmas colors, actually, red, white, and green. So I'll hang this on my stove, and this will definitely be a seasonal towel. But I love that, and I wonder, I don't know if she bought this package together or if she made it and printed that out, but I think that's a really great idea if you're looking for a, an economical, easy gift to give for the holidays. A little towel with that statement written out is really touching. Another towel that I got is this one, which is kind of beige or cream with some different shades of blue for the bathroom. I uh, will definitely use that. I have some mittens that you can text message with, I guess. My hands might be a little big for this, but we'll, we'll see. This frame, which says, no bad days. I wonder if she made this too. I bet she did. I imagine that she did. She's pretty crafty. So that's kind of neat. I like that. A candle garden. So a display with rocks. I don't know what was all included with this. I don't think the candles are, but yeah, holds votive candles, not included, but that'll be really nice to use and set up in my apartment as well. So that is my Christmas haul so far. My sister is so sweet. She actually documented her quest to buy my Secret Santa gift, and it was Ugh, it was so thoughtful. She put so much thought into all the items that she got, and she actually sent me the videos, and she kind of did it as like a, a thrift kind of video like I do. I don't know, it was this really sweet video um, that she sent, and I'm going to ins I'm gonna try to insert her clips that she sent me here. It shows her shopping for the items, her thought process into putting the gift together. My niece makes some cameo appearances and then she recorded me opening the video or opening the opening the gift. So I'm going to try to insert those clips here. I don't know if she uses an iPhone and I feel like iPhone movie maker requires iPhone footage, but we'll we'll see if that'll work here for you. Hey y'all. Jamie here. I just got back from the Mary Bridge Holiday Bazaar, where I picked up a couple things that I'll use for Christmas this year. And pardon the noise in the background, my daughter's watching The Grinch, so. Anywho, this is another installment of the hunt for Tim's Secret Santa present. And I thought I'd show you what I found today. So, the first thing that we found that I thought I would get for my mother-in-law, that my husband liked for us, was this little Christmas design. There's a decorative mason jar with a little burn and this cute little rustic box. It actually lights up on the inside there, so that would be super cute in the evenings. So I intended to gift that, but it sounds like we'll be keeping that here. Then we got a couple dips, onion dip and ranch dip. That should be good. And it has the little holiday monkey on there. And these wrapped Hershey's Nuggets that I'll probably put in my daughter's stocking. And then an assortment of gift tags that somebody colored, which are super cute. So I'll definitely pick one of those out to put on Tim's present, I'm sure. And then the piece that I actually got for Tim, which is this little towel that can be put in the kitchen, a little dish towel. Uh, there's a little story on here that I thought was quite cute. And it comes with a little wooden spoon, so I thought that would be a nice addition to his Secret Santa gift. And I got that for six dollars. And um, in total, I think we spent thirty-five. Hey, hold on, The stuff we bought was thirty-five dollars. We went ahead and made a flat fifty dollars um, to just increase the donation because it goes to the Mary Bridge Children's Hospital. So while I got a good deal, six dollars for a cute holiday towel that'll go into his present. Um, the money went for a good cause, so it was thrifty and giving. <laughs> and here's my daughter. Hi. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Here I am at Walmart, another thrifty place to buy for the Tim's present. Movies are on sale for $3.74, and he doesn't have cable, so 
the more movies, the better, and the less he will have to rewatch. And I think that this one might be funny. And I'm gonna get this for a part of his gift. And I'm looking for a cheap frame for a print idea I had for Tim's desk. I think that having inspirational quotes around at work can be motivating, and I think that's right up his alley. So I'm looking for a cute frame that's thrifty. I was gonna go to the dollar store, but really Walmart has just as good a deals. This is $1.47 and it's kind of a happy color, so I might go with this one. We'll see, and I'll show you the finished product once I've printed everything out and put it in there. Tim really likes to host people, and he puts a bunch of stuff out on his bed when he has guests and such. But I thought these towels were super cute, so maybe I'm going to pick him up one of these hand towels to go with this gift, so he can put it on display when he has people over. In the candle section. Tim seems to be really into buying decorations, typically at Goodwill and such, which is why I'm doing this thrifty Secret Santa buy. And um, this is only $10 and it's pretty cute, kind of modern looking. You could put it on display on his kitchen table or his coffee table, so I think I'm going to pick this up and call it good. So I just picked up the box for that candle set and saw on the back it has this idea for the little succulents in place of the candles. I think that's super cute and succulents don't require a lot of attention or water and with Tim's history of killing things including plants and fish, this might be a good alternative to be able to mix it up. Hope he likes it. Who's that for? For Tia Tim. Really good job. Okay, let me see. I want to use these. Yeah, beautiful. Is it good? Mm-hmm. What's it say? Um, Evelyn. No. <laughs> it says no bad days. No bad days. Laughing it. No. Peppa can do it. Good job, Peppa. job. Thanks for your help. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now let's put this in there. Yeah! Papa want to go in there. But this bag's going to Uncle Timmy. Uncle Timmy? Mm -hmm. Oh, I say Uncle Timmy. <laughs> Nice, that's These are the gloves we got Tim on Walmart.com. They have the magnets and the fingers so that he can text because he's always on public transportation so this way he can take his videos and still have warm hands. We got those on Walmart for five bucks. I like this. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff, dang. Oh, this is two. I haven't seen that one yet. It had all your favorite people in it, so. Yeah. The towel. Oh, I forgot about the chairs out there, dude. Nice. And you guys remembered? That oh, towel. Girl. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Come on, can you ask Daddy, please? Uh, could you roll over? Yeah. Ask Daddy, please. The chain. Oh! Ooh, man. They no, are no. a special kind that you can text with. That's awesome. Oh! Hey, are you going to wear the Mickey and Minnie? Lip balm. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So I just sit there. I love that. Oh, you were nope. recording this? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for sounding very <laughs> underwhelmed. <laughs> no, I just, I just like it. Thank you. Sit down. Yeah. It just kept, it keeps going. I really yeah. like the candle garden. Do you have to use the bathroom? I found out after the fact that there are no candles in it. Oh, so, yeah, that gives you. I have plenty of candles. Well, thank you.